Chief Justice Martha Kaome is calling on the political parties dispute tribunal to effectively resolve disputes uh, grippling uh, political parties to straighten the country's democracy. Speaking after presiding over the swearing in ceremony of the new members of the tribunal, Kaome encouraged the tribunal to carry out its duties in a judicious and fair manner by following the constitution to the letter. The newly inaugurated political parties disputes tribunal PPDT has its work cut out with the much awaited party primaries looming. Chief Justice Martha Kome says with the tribunal now fully constituted after three new members took oath of office, focus should shift to executing its mandate in a free and fair manner. We need to build confidence of the Kenyans that we have systems and structures in place to guarantee that anybody with a grievance can be heard and their grievances can be heard and responded to with a fair and just uh, judgment. Kome called on the tribunal to expedite resolving disputes arising from political parties to strengthen our constitutional democracy. In your hands, together with the chairperson and three other members who have been in office, now rise the resolution of disputes relating to political parties and disputes arising from political parties' uh, primaries. This means that you have a role in the protection of our democracy and realization of the Kenyans' rights and expectation to have a free, fair and credible elections. Political parties dispute tribunal chair Desmond Nungo said they are ready to undertake activities leading to the general election. I have made several uh, sensitization forums. We have uh, worked together with the ESCC. We have uh, undertaken a corruption prevention index. We have identified the weak areas that we may have and we can assure you, your Lordship, the Chief Justice, that we are keen to build on the integrity of PPDT as an institution, knowing too well the crucial role that we are playing with a view to seeing to it that uh, the country undertakes uh, credible elections.